This is a how-to video on how to give your dog a feet, face, and fanny cut, which usually costs between $15 to $60, depending on where in the country you are. So I'm going to show you how to do it on a Cavapoo from the comfort of your own home. So I start by brushing. I actually already did his face a little bit yesterday, um, but I'm going to get his ears today. So this is a cut that allows you to keep your dog trimmed and looking fresh without having to go to the doggy salon. And so for his ears, I like to do a little bit of layers because he's a cavapoo. And I would say just like, don't be afraid. The hair grows back. I don't know if you ever experimented when your hair when you were a teenager, but it grows back. And so get in there, trim him up. Now we want to trim the cavapoo's ears. I'm actually going to trim more because it gets caught in his food and it gets really gross. Um, make sure you have sharp enough scissors to do this. You can even do like a little face frame. Look at that. Okay. Stay Eli. Good boy. Uh, I did give my dog CBD earlier. So that's just like a daily regime for us. He was a rescue. So he has some anxiety and attachment issues apparently. So we do CBD and lavender essential oil. Um, so now I'm going to try. Are you camera shy? Now I'm going to try to cut them the same size right? The same length. And sometimes I'll go back like the next day and shape it up a little bit. He's got curly hair. It's never going to be even. Um, and you'll be surprised like how clean cut your dog looks after just doing a little bit around his face, their feet, and then their fanny is the underside. So that's the, the fanny part of the feet, face, and fanny you get around their butt and um, other private places. Let me see, Eli. Oh, you look so awesome. Let's see, come here. Good boy. This one's gotta be a little shorter. And so with a Cavapoo, I'm holding, his ear actually ends right there, right here. So I'm holding him down here so there's no way I can accidentally cut his ear. Um, but yeah, we've got like a lot to work with. I could cut off a lot more than this, um, but I like them longer. I think they're really cute. Ooh, looking fresh. All right, do some more layers. Keeps it a little bit, it's gotta be heavy for him. Do a face frame. <laughs> Because why not? So stylish. Check you out. All right. So like I said, we already got the face yesterday. Come back and cut a few more just to even it out. Um, like if I don't ever do like a full haircut on my dog without giving him a break, the feet, face, and fanny is short enough. Oh, good boy short enough that he shouldn't need a break. So that's the face part. I mean, if I was gonna come in, I could like trim that up so I could get the electric razor out. And I could trim around his eyes a little bit. I could trim this part of his nose and trim out the eye crust. It's really that simple. Um, if you wanted to trim around their snout, you can. You just wanna look out for whiskers um, and so I can trim some of this whiskerless parts of his face if I want to to clean him up. Bada bing bada boom. So now going to the feet. If you have a King Charles Cavalier or a Cavapoo you know that they have these cute little bell bottoms um, and I like to keep his toes actually longer than the rest of his body um, because I think it's cute. However, Take, take a look here. He will grow hair down in between his toes. So what I'm looking for are hair dreads. He will start to grow little dreadlocks in here. And I found one yesterday, which is why I thought about doing this video. So I can show you guys how to get rid of them. So the dreads, 
Here's one. I actually want to cut it out with the razor. And so you're just super careful. Oh, oh, did it die? Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, it's dead for this video, so we're going to have to do the scissors. Um, come here. So I think the bigger toe dreads are down on his down on his feet. And so we'll come back and show you those with the, the trimmer. But for now, we're just going to trim around here. He'll get sticks and sap and all sorts of stuff caught in his toes. And you really want to keep an eye on the Cavapoo's toe hair because the dreads hurt them and you really do want to cut those out. So I'm going around trimming his bell bottoms, keeping him long. I mean, yeah, you can trim him all the way down. So he's got like short little toes like a poodle would, but I like him long. It shows me that like he is a cavalier and that's you know why I why I got him. And he tends to look more poodle, but I want to accentuate the parts of him that are cavalier, um, like his ears and his bell bottoms. So feet, face, and fanny. Oh, I should say I washed his toes and tail and underbody yesterday in the shower. Well, he's got really long hair on the top here. Wow. Jeez, I didn't know your bell bottoms were this long, Eli. Oh my gosh, you are awesome. So he's a little scared right now. His legs are shaking, but he's being a really good boy. Oh my gosh, so we'll even this one out a little bit. Get, get some of his arms. Oop! <laughs> Collision with the camera, jeez. You know, for me, this is kind of part of the feet, face and fanny. I don't know if they would do the arms at the store for you, like if you were to go to Petco. Um, but that's the beauty of doing it on your own at home. You can cut however much you want. And like, I'm kind of always trimming Eli. Like every two weeks or, or, or more often, I get the scissors out and I just, I trim him up because giving him a full haircut actually takes hours. Like it's, it is worth if you, um, if it's a priority for you financially to go and get this done professionally because it actually takes a lot of work to make it look good. I think it's a nice bonding experience that you can have with your animal. Um, so that's why I, started doing it myself um, it builds trust and i actually ski with my dog in the back country and so i have to <laughs> have him wear a lot of interesting things like this outfit right here um and that's a coyote vest and so he wears that every time he's outside and to get your dog to wear stuff like that and shoes he wears shoes every time we back country ski you really need to build like trust and an authoritative presence over your dog. Oh, well, this looks great. So that's another perk of doing this yourself at home. Uh, obviously it saves money. It also saves time. And we live in Alaska. There aren't many options for this. So it's kind of, kind of what I have. So look at the difference between the front and the back toes. They look much cleaner. And so to get the back ones, this is the best way to do it is to have them standing. And so then you're brushing. Maybe you want to come around the back so we can show them. Like, look at all that. This is a poodle, poodle brush. You see that? Poodle. All right. And so I do actually, I leave a lot of the toe hair because my dog... I mean, look what he's running around on. He's like hunting in this backyard with woods and sticks and shrubs. And um, I think it's just better for him to have, and like, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, if you guys have other opinions on this, but I think it's actually better for him to have a little bit of hair down there. Now you have to make sure that you don't get dreads because that can really hurt your dog. However, I think when he's like, goes from having a lot of hair there to then like going bald, that can cause like some sensory issues with his paws and the ground, but I don't know, maybe one day we'll go, we'll go bald. But the dog, honestly, the dog grows toe hair there for a reason. I don't know how many other dogs do that, but I'm like, if it grows there, it's probably meant, meant to be there. 
I know the, the Cavaliers are like marmot hunters, so maybe it's there to insulate. Really growing out. That looks pretty nice. Oh, here's a good dread. Check that out. That one. You want to get, get rid of those. So we actually just trimmed around his butthole because we just massaged his glands um, to be expressed. But yeah, so you can trim up the bottom. Now my dog still has his man part, so I want to be careful not to snip those, obviously. Um, but this is the fanny part of the feet, face, and fanny. So I'm doing this so it stays clean. You know, the dog is sitting on the ground. Outside, inside. I don't want him to bring that much outside to the inside. Um, I love cuddling with my dog and like sharing my bed. So I do really keep him clean. Oh, there's another dread. Jeez, look at this one. You need to look for these. This is why it's important to be doing feet, face, and fanny checks because these can really hurt your dog. They can pull at your dog's skin. All right, oops, so I just went, we've, the photographer and I are both wearing hats and we keep bumping into each other. <laughs> He's being a really good watchdog. Good boy, Eli. All right, we'd like this one to match the other. It's good, it's distracting him. Good boy. <laughs> wow, that is some some long toe hair. All right, so here we go. Let the trimming begin. I'm just kind of doing like, oh, there's another dread. Jeez. Snip, snip. And just, yeah, remember like, just be confident. The hair grows back. Like, it's a good time. It's great and a great opportunity for training your dog like if you can't get your dog to relax in your arms or in your care um then you have uh you have a dominance issue with your pet and trust issues and in order to keep everyone around you and your pet safe they need to be well trained and they need to respect you and they need to trust you okay now i'm gonna get some of the toe hair like we did on the other side. You can see this doesn't really take that long. I mean, it used to take me longer because I used to really try and like get it even on both sides and everywhere, but he's got curly hair. It's not gonna be even. Uh, but I'm gonna keep most of his, most of his toe hair. But so I'm, I'm looking for dreads like in between in between his toes. Like you can see where the hair grows. It like grows out of his paws. Cavapoos are so cool. Um, I'm gonna trim his tail a little bit. I'm gonna trim, this is for me part of the feet, face and fanny because this part of the tail gets, uh, gets stuff on it. And so I really wanna keep this part short. Here. that how hard was that good boy okay so now you're gonna want to flip your dog over um and this should be your dog should be comfortable doing this and i'm gonna trim around here again being careful not to cut him obviously and so that's where the cbd comes in that's where the good, the well-trained pet comes in. Um, but that hair will get really, really long and it's kind of gross. Um, and so I'm gonna doing this all with scissors right now. I might go back in with an electric razor. Some people don't, some people don't like trimming their dog with electric razors because it does like affect how soft the animal is. If you've ever pet an animal that only gets their hair cut with scissors, you'll see how soft their fur is. So these dreads can really hurt your cavapoo right here. 
their tummy is a really sensitive area. And I'm gonna keep quite a bit of the hair down here because he's constantly like going through the woods out there and getting caught in the brush. Um, but you don't want too much of that hair because their pee gets stuck in it and it's really gross. And so I kind of keep that trim as well. And here, because otherwise P will also get good stuck there. Um, well, and so, yeah, that's the feet, face, and fanny for you without using an electric razor. There he is. How does he look? Good boy, sit. Oh, no. <laughs> He's done. Good dog, Eli. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Let me know if you want any other how-to videos. I pretty much do everything with him. Jeez. Now he's gonna go patrol the farm. Good boy! Wait, Eli, you need your glasses. Eli. Good job. Come here. Good boy. So with this coyote vest, I feel pretty good about him cruising around. Um, it's got spikes on there that will stab you and are longer and sharper than a coyote's tooth. So if something were to grab down at your dog or like a hawk, it would just get tangled in those, those top pink spikes. And then the metal spikes are really, really sharp and hard. They're steel. So this is his territory. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <gasps>